One to six goes out, and uh, uh, right now I'm still awake, going to do a vlogging later. No, I woke up early. I'll be trying to record later on some of the training by my friend, and uh, that will be doing a rugby training at the BSM. Or the British School Manila, but as for now, I just woke up that early, and uh, I know. Please bear with my face; I got lots of pimples right now. No, but it's coming, and uh, I'm just thinking right now what would be the result of the content that I'll be doing later. I know I've been doing some of the vlogs before, but this will be the first time that. I'll be creating like a summer sports vlogging type, so I'm not sure what will be the result later on. That's oh, what I'm thinking right now, that's why I woke up that early. So, processing my thoughts, what will be or how should I edit the content later upon finishing the documentation? Hopefully I will not be lost later, I'll be going to a place that I don't know it. Ah, you'll see later on once we fully completed this video, it's only the introductions I'm making right now. Ah, but I'll still be sleeping. Ah. Alright, so guys later I just need a nap and... Wake up again. History of Rugby Union Rugby originated out of an early form of football. Not like football as we know it today, but a much cruder form of the game. Full of rough and tumble, with no limits to the number of players on each side, and not too much in the way of rules. Players were allowed to catch and kick the ball with their hands, but they weren't allowed to run with it, and that was pretty much it. Legend has it that in 1823, a young lad by the name of William Webb Ellis didn't care too much for this rule either. And so, during a game of football at the rugby school in the town of Rugby, Warwickshire, England, caught the ball and ran with it towards the opponent's goal line. The idea caught on and rugby students spread the game's gospel across England. In fact, the world's first and oldest football club, the Guy's Hospital Football Club, formed in London in 1843, was formed by old boys from rugby school. Soon, a number of other clubs formed to play games based on the rugby school rules. Clubs like the Dublin University Football Club, which founded in 1854, has arguably become the world's oldest surviving football club in any code. And the Blackheath Rugby Club in London, which was founded in 1858. In fact, it was Francis Moore Campbell, a member of the Blackheath Club, that led the breakaway from the newly formed Football Association in 1863, when it moved a motion to expunge two rules integral to the rugby style of the game at the time, namely running with the ball and hacking, basically kicking an opponent in the shins. Campbell argued that hacking was an essential element of football and that the rules that the FA intended to adopt would do away with all the courage and pluck required to play the game. He feared that they would destroy the game and all interest in it. In protest, he withdrew the Blackheath Club and other rugby clubs followed this lead and refused to join the Football Association. Instead, they formed their own association and on the 26th of January, 1871, in a meeting attended by representatives from 21 clubs, they founded the Rugby Football Union. And what of that young boy that legend says started it all way back in 1823? Well, 
aside from a statue and a plaque at his old school in Rugby, which reads, This stone commemorates the exploit of William Webb Ellis, who with a fine disregard for the rules of football as played in his time, first took the ball in his arms and ran with it, thus originating the distinctive feature of the rugby game, A.D. 1823. The Rugby World Cup trophy just happens to be named after him. The Webb Ellis Cup, colloquially known as Bill, is awarded to the winner of the Rugby World Cup. People just woke up on my nap and uh, going to catch up my breakfast. Then later on I'll be preparing when I did the PSM. What now? I'll be leaving. What now? Going to the British School Manila to watch the training of my friend on the rugby game. So let's go now. So I'm just waiting on the team, the Nomads rugby team, for me to watch. Looking at the Nomads team, I'm just sitting here at the PSM waiting here. Playing field of the rugby team, Nomads team. So waiting to pass this course. Let's get it on. Chicken up there. Let's look at right, left, north. I'm going out inside. Alright, coming through. Exciting. It's too bright in here. Look at the field. It's so wide. I was looking for my friend, but I don't know where she is. Okay, come with me, people. What they're doing? I think it's a different group of people. Okay. Where they are? If I can go there, is that them? That's them. I think that's them. Where are they? I don't know where my friend is. Let's see. Say hi, everyone. She's doing a vlog. <laughs> today's day. And the star, <laughs> Slim. No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> Let's see how she play. It's <laughs> fine. Let's watch with the star. It's the highlight of this vlog. Clean. Sammy, everything's looking at you. Oh, 
I have a wand. <laughs> All in. Now I'm excited what they're going to do. Especially the star. Hi. No, oh, the rock thing. Sorry for the lighting for one. Uh, but it's too bright right now, I don't know if I'll be going to use the torch side to lighten up or just natural lighting. So, bear with the light people, bear with the light. It's too bright in here.
life I made I don't need a holiday To make me feel this way Listen up, take a chance, you can sing, you can dance You can live like there's no tomorrow Give it time and you'll find there's a rule, there's a rhyme Move along and the rest will follow And follow me on all my uh, social media. I'll link all the description below and click the notification button for you to watch my future uploads. Uh, that'll be all, and bye bye.